Hey everyone and welcome back to Saturday Night Creeper. We're in the home stretch for Flower Shop Summer in Fairbrook. I'm here with Kenny. Hello. I almost forgot the name of the game. And uh, you're all very lucky you're having an episode right now because uh, a few minutes ago I was like, oh man, Kenny, we don't have a Summer in Fairbrook <laughs> episode and it's late. And we were like, oh, we gotta do it because we love y'all. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> he didn't sound that enthusiastic, but... Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did we choose already? We just wanted to do... Yeah, I think we chose. This is we're just gonna do work library 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 work library. <laughs> okay. Why work? <coughs> we have over a thousand dollars. Um determination? Yeah, I think it's to keep his determination up. Okay. Plus and sometimes depending on how much money you get, you get like a special ending. Isn't this gonna get us because going to the library Well, what's the library going to raise? The library raises our culture. Culture? Okay. 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 Yes. There's a slight chance that we might get Susanna, but we yeah, shouldn't. Yeah, a slight we chance. Shouldn't. We shouldn't if we spend all of our time the next three weeks with Miss Marion. I trust you because you don't like doing the Susanna voice. I don't think that you would... No, I'm not messing with no. you. No. I don't think you would <coughs> take that way and have to do the Susanna voice. Myself? Yeah. No, no. If, um, <laughs> if we end up with Susanna, it is purely by accident. Right. So. Accident. Accident. It is. And, and so another week begins. That's you. You're right. <laughs> it's me. Monday morning. Oh no, look at all tomatoes. those parasites. They're everywhere. Get the maters. The maters. Clean. Not wait until I look at all the other stuff we have going on. I'm the farmer in this game. I'm the farmer in this game. I'm the picker. I'm I'm the decider. I decide. <laughs> Let the decider decide. He is not the suggester. <laughs> I worked enough for today. I feel I did my job. Oh no, more parasites! Get off of our delicious like I went to strawberries! Lunch. I went to lunch and they showed up. They're like, "Hey, what's up?" And we're like, "Back off!" Three, four. There we go. I worked enough today. I feel I did my job, and so another day ends. Oh no, we wake up and they're just <laughs> crawling in parasites, and that one's like, "I'm so thirsty." <laughs> Please give me, give me liquids. Okay, well, we'll water. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny's got this bug-eyed look where he's like, get the weeds. <laughs> get the weeds. Just, I, just wondering what you're going to do. I'm doing what I do. I've worked enough to today. I feel I did my job. I don't know what was wrong with my voice right there. I dropped by the library <laughs> to say hi to Mary and check out some books and hear some of her latest poetry. It's so bad. Welcome back, Steve. Make yourself at home. Thanks. The library feels like a second home to me these, these days. I race through all the books Marion suggests, taking in every word. Sydney's over there. And so another day ends. Sydney. He's getting groomed tomorrow, so you won't hear his nails anymore. Yep, he's getting groomed. For about a week. Yes, for about a week. He's not gonna, he's not gonna be a stinky puppy because he's so stinky right now. He's so, so stinky. Little stinky puppy. Um, what are you doing? It's clean. You clean. I am clean. Are you, though? Uh. <laughs> Fort's enough for today. I feel I did my job. Drop by the library to say hi to Marion. Check out some books. Here's some of her latest poetry. Welcome back, Steve. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Library feels like a second home to me these days. I race through all the books Marion suggests. They can have word. So another day ends. I bet nothing's gonna happen. You are so pessimistic. Everything's gonna Everything's happen. Everything's good. Everything Everything's is good. Everything's good. There's no. You just parasites. want me to clean these. Let them sit, and now they take two hours. There we go. Okay. Go away, sit. <laughs> <laughs> He's here, just watching me. He's watching. Oh, we did our job. I didn't say the thing. It's okay. Start by the library. <laughs> Simply check on book here. Leave poetry. Welcome back, Steve. Makes of home. Thanks. Library feels like it's at home these days. I race through all the books, Mary suggests, and everywhere is and the science. Enunciate. That's that's the best enunciation <laughs> in the world. I uh, I hate to break it to you. Mm. I guess we'll plant a blackberry and though. a pumpkin. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And he's like, battle one. <laughs> Pumpkin. 
I made April plant a pumpkin. <laughs> I've worked enough for today. I feel I did my job. And now we're working again. Yeah. Clean up. No parasites. Are there any parasites on other ones? Sometimes you can barely see them. Right. Just take a look. You can see. Okay. Just... See how long they take? Yeah. Use fertilizer. And they only sell for 20. We got a million bucks. Use fertilizer. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Seriously, can you just use these things as victories? He's like, yes, I made her use that too. Oh man, I Three have hours. so much power. Three hours to clean because we let it sit there. Yeah, I know. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it bother you? No, I'm good. <laughs> oh wow. Yep, all because. Did, you did didn't... Uncle come out and just like <laughs> put crap everywhere? All because of what, Kenny? Nothing. What? Why? Because you didn't plant more Why? pumpkins. Why? Parasites hate pumpkins. That is not a thing. I looked it up. Oh, okay. Yep. On the I internet. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked enough for today. I failed in my job. Drop by the library, say hi to Mary, and check out some books. Here's some of her latest poetry. Welcome back, Steve. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Library feels like a second home to me these days. All right. What am I going to do with this week? Well, thank you, everyone, for hanging out. <laughs> my culture is at 100. Look at that. Can we stop? Look Can at we stop that. going to the library? Look at that. Yeah, Look at that. it's good. All right, well, what we're going to go to the flower us? shop. <laughs> we're going to the flower shop, okay? Uh huh. Because we need to buy some strawberries. Why do we? No, we got two weeks left. I want to grow strawberries. We have enough money. We have $1,200. I want to grow strawberries. There's honestly no point. I want there to. Is. Okay. Why is there no point? Because we have $1,200. We have two weeks in this rinky-dink town. We don't need any more plants. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to freak out if we have nothing to plant. I don't want... And if yeah, you plant you're right. any of the I'm other gonna... stuff, it's not going to grow in time. Uh -huh. So strawberries are what we need to get. Okay. So we're going to go there and okay. get that. Do you want to go visit Clara or something? Oh, see the point in this. Like... Well, you don't want to keep going to the library. Well, I just feel like we're... I feel like nothing's happening at the Well, library. yeah, because that's how these games are at the end. If mm -hmm. you're trying to get a specific ending, nothing happens. No, that's not how it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, right now we have what we need. We have culture at higher than romance. Yeah. So we need to at least go to the library once this week. Okay. The rest of the week we can do whatever you want. Okay. And it's 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 you, so you have to choose. I'm going to stay. Our I'm health gonna, is actually kind of relax. low. Let's relax. No, relax. We had it right. Flower shop. Yep. Okay, relax here. Yeah. Okay, and then what? Um, I guess go running. Okay. And then stay home. Okay. And Talk to library. the other ladies yeah. in the library. Okay. Let them know that they're not needed. <laughs> 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 the long text, <laughs> the long rambling drunk text that you sent to Jill <laughs> that didn't, wasn't sufficient in telling her. And so another week begins. You want to save it really quick? Yeah, I'll save just it. Just did a if that chunk makes of you, work. If that makes you feel comfortable. There we go. There we go. Okay. Always save your games. Always save your games. Rotate your saves in case there's a glitch. Rotate your saves in case there's a glitch. Yeah, I know. I said that. What? <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> verbatim. Yeah, verbatim. <laughs> I feel I did my job. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, cat. For lunch today, Uncle made me a huge pack of pan stack of pancakes loaded with blueberries. Wait, we're going off the rails. Off the rails. I'm s amazed by the simple ingenuity of it all. Pancakes for lunch. Brilliant. You moron. <laughs> Eat up, Steve. You're still a growing boy. Yes, sir. I help myself to a few and dig in voraciously. Ever since I came here, my appetite has increased. Delicious as usual, Uncle. I'm glad you think so. So, do you have any special plans for this afternoon? Plans? She probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but today is Susanna's birthday. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow, it's kind of interesting that you uh, had me go to the flower shop on Monday of the second week. Because you would know if there was some I don't sort of know. Trap. I just know the formula. I don't know, like, what happened. Wow. What? <laughs> Uncle nods with a half smile playing around his lips. You wouldn't know unless you asked her directly. I think she's embarrassed by it all. But every year she makes a huge ba er, bakes a huge cake for everyone to enjoy. Baking a cake for your own birthday? Doesn't that sort of, sort of defeat the purpose? Not for her. 
She never says it, but she really does want people to celebrate. I think you should drop by and say hi to her. Sure thing. Will do. And let me get and get me a piece of cake while you're at it. <laughs> I see how it is. Extra sprinkles or else I'll cut you. I'd be a you fool not put, to eat her cooking. You don't put <clears throat> sprinkles on a cake. I, I put sprinkles on I've a cake. I've never once had a sprinkle. You have so had a cake. You've had a cake with sprinkles no, in I've it. No, I've had a cake. You have had, had Funfetti cake before. That's not sprinkles. Yes, it is. That's little droplets it's of dye. It's It's meant to emulate sprinkles. Emulate. You put sprinkles, sprinkles. On, you put sprinkles on cake. You can... I've seen it done. I've had the, You've like, had my mother's cake, and my mother always puts sprinkles on cake. Can I tell my story? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've had cake with, the, like, the sugar decorations that are huge. Like, oh, here's this candy flower. I always get the candy flower. I've had cake with sprinkles. You don't need to whisper. My, you had cake with sprinkles. Then maybe I'm just forgetting. My mother makes cake with sprinkles regularly. I don't remember. Like regularly. I don't remember. I'm sure it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Orpheus yells and swats a paw at me. <laughs> Let me guess. You want some too? No, do I'm not give feed the cat, cake to the I'm cat. I'm going to give the cat some Another cake. meow. No. Emmy ate my bacon. I don't yes. know if we told you this. No, our cat. Okay, so our cat has never, like, she's not, she's not destructive. She doesn't get on things she's not supposed to or anything like that. But well, she does. No, no, she doesn't get on stuff she's not supposed to. She gets on, well, occasionally. Like, we've yeah. had to, but, I mean, it's very, very rare. So, the other night we were kind of, like, we were rushing out to, uh, to get some dessert and stuff after we ate. And Will had made butternut squash soup, and he had made bacon crumbles. And without even thinking about it, because Emmy usually is just such a good girl about this kind of stuff, we left the bacon crumbles wrapped up in a paper My towel on the table. Bacon Kenny's crumbles. bacon crumbles for later. <laughs> and we get back, and they're just gone. Emmy's nowhere to be seen. They're just, the crumbles are just gone. Now, it couldn't have been Sid, because he can't jump up. He can barely jump up onto the sofa. He's a stout little thing, and he's not super, super spry. Um, so it had to be Emmy, and it's so funny, because we just walked in, we were like, Emmy, and then she's, like, there drinking in the water, because she's never had bacon before, and she's like, mm, 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 I'm so thirsty, mm, mm. so, yep, that was, that's our experience, and Kenny's very angry with Emmy for eating his, so he's I'm not gonna, actually Emmy. I'm not angry, no, but I'm gonna give the cat cake. You're not gonna give the, the cat cake. Bacon is entirely different. Cats are obligate carnivores. The and salt and the nitrates are, are really bad for her. And I'm a, yes, yes. I'm upset that she had it, but of course it was too tempting and she mm. couldn't help herself. Good. That's on us. But do not ever give cake to a cat. Okay. They can't. They can't. They can't. They can't. Handle it. Okay. <laughs> sure thing, girl. Man, you're demanding. <laughs> I am. I dash upstairs and peel off my work clothes. Most of my clothing is smudged with dirt and worn from all the work I've been doing. You've been doing. wearing the same shirt every day. I know. On the farm. Seriously. Not my cup of tea. Eighty three. Ooh, you remembered. Yeah, it's been oh. in my head for the past two months. <laughs> <laughs> but if this is for her birthday, I'd better wear something a little nicer. Damn it! <clears throat> what? Well, I hope this isn't the Susanna ending. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I'm gonna sneeze. I oh, know. I'm good. In the autumn light, the flower shop looks more vibrant than usual today. I step inside and take a moment to enjoy the familiar perfume of the flowers that linger in the air. Welcome back, Steve. Hey, Susanna. Are you feeling any better today? I am. Thank you for last time. It really means a lot to me. Ah, I baked a cake today. Would you like a piece? Of course. In fact... I approach her and give her a quick hug. Uh-oh. I just came over to say happy birthday. Look, his art changed. Oh, thank you. His art. Like, oh, did it? Picture. That's you. No, it's not. Oh, it is. God, I'm sorry. I was like, that's not me. Hey, Susie. Hi. Trent pokes his head in from the side door just in time to see me holding Susanna. His eyes <laughs> move from her to, <laughs> to me, from me to her and back to me. Finally, he sighs and throws his hands up in the air. You know what? I'm just gonna get a piece of cake and be out of here. Oh man. He turns and leaves without saying another word. Suzanne and I stand beside each other in awkward silence for a moment before we burst out laughing. <laughs> I thought he was going to kill me on the spot. Oh, he did change he his changed shirt. His clothes. Look at that. Man, it's like we're going for Susanna. <laughs> <laughs> Susanna. 
I told you he'd warm up a bit to you eventually. <laughs> he really is a good brother. <laughs> he is. But how did you know it was my birthday? Wait, let me guess. Sam told you? Hey, you can't blame him for wanting some cake, can you? I suppose not. It's already been well emphasized in the canon of the other game that her baked goods are amazing. Yeah, we know that. Yes, yes. What about you? Would you like some? Oh, yes, please. And I'd like some to take to Marion. <laughs> to rub on her. <laughs> she slices off a large piece of cake for me and hands it to me on a plate. Pumpkin chai, made from local produce, of course. They were probably my, t my uh, pumpkins. Probably. I take a bite. You grew the pumpkins for the cake, which is going to bring you two together Vomit. in love. Vomit. <laughs> Delicious as usual. <laughs> I make quick work of the slice before holding out the plate to her. Any chance I could get more? Well, of course. She dishes, dishes up another slice for me, but this time I take my time enjoying it. You really are something, you know. What do you mean by that? I mean, look at this place. You do all this by yourself. And this. Your food is incredible, too. I'm glad you'd like it. I was worried it wouldn't be any good. Wait, you mean you haven't tried it yet? I don't usually eat my own baking. What? Why not? I... Well, it's meant for other people, then I shouldn't have any. What? Are you kidding? It's your birthday. I load my fork and hold it up to her mouth. Oh, you're feeding her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Try some. What? It's your cake and it's your birthday. You should eat some. Are you sure? Of course. Tentatively, she takes a bite. See? It's good, right? She's like, no, it's awful. It is. Don't sound so surprised. You're the one who made it. You, you Okay, you have to taste the food that you made. Nope, not at all. Never gonna. <laughs> I suppose so. That's that's Okay, that's why she's so wayfish. She doesn't make the dinner she makes for other people. She doesn't eat the baked goods she makes for other people. She just eats flowers. Yep. Hey. That's, that's why that hydrangea looks half eaten. <laughs> hey, have a seat. Relax. On my lap. I sit down in her windowsill and indicate that she should do the same. Hey, here, have some more. You feed her again? I hold up another uh, right to her and she takes <laughs> You really should try your own baking more often. It's incredible. <laughs> Susanna leans her head against my shoulder and lets out a sigh. I never really thought about it before. You're such a strange girl sometimes. I get that a lot. Autumn really is beautiful, isn't it? There was just a music change you didn't oh, hear, Kenny. Really didn't. I follow her gaze <laughs> and realize she's staring out the window at the brilliant red and orange trees. I never really thought about it before, but yeah, it is. She shifts a little bit, adjusting her head on her shoulder on my shoulder. Oh God, Kenny, the music! It's only Monday. Her hair smells so sweet. We got another week of this. From this close, <laughs> I can see how smooth and shiny it is. Ugh. Hesitantly, I reach up and gently touch a strand. <laughs> That feels nice. Oh, really? <laughs> I move my hand up to stroke her hair gently. Against my calloused hands, her hair feels like spun silk. Slowly, I stroke her hair again. She smiles happily and lets out a contented sigh. I wouldn't mind staying like this for a while. Neither would I. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Susanna nods at the sky. The sun is setting and the sky is brilliant orange streaked with lines of purple on the horizon. Above it all, the sky is melting into a deep blue. It's been such a long time since I watched the sunset. Almost forgot how beautiful it was. I don't remember ever seeing such a beautiful sunset before. Well, everything oh. was more beautiful when you were someone you love. Ew. We haven't dated yet. What? Oh, we have Susanna fans who are going to be kind of sad if we're not excited about this. We did get a good I, ending. I, I am doing the voice of Steve. As if he is happy with this. <laughs> I'm not putting... I'm not going to diminish their ending. <laughs> so, it's okay. Isn't it obvious? She giggles a bit before sitting up and looking me in the eyes. 
I love you, Steve. She slowly entwines her fingers around mine. For a moment, all I can feel is the warmth of her hand against mine, and the rest of my world freezes. I finally manage to find my voice again. I love you, too. <laughs> the look on Kenny's face right now. <laughs> well, did you see so the fun. look on his face? Yeah, he was surprised. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> I brush the back of my hand against her cheek. It's soft and pale. Her clear green eyes shimmer at me like glass. Everything about her is so delicate and beautiful. Slowly, I lean in and press my lips against hers. Hey! She closes her eyes and squeezes my hand tighter. But it works out because that's the thumbnail I chose. You got an achievement. Yep. Oh, Susanna. That is the thumbnail I chose. I come from Alabama with a banjo and my Alabama. I said Alabama with a banjo. Alabama. Alabama. It's pronounced Alabama. the organ thing all over again. <laughs> she closes her eyes and squeezes my hand tighter. I move my other hand around her and pull her closer until her body is against mine. Oh, wow. What are we doing here? We're kissing. Smooching. In my head, I hear the pounding of my heart. The pounding grows louder and louder until that is all I can hear. Susanna feels so warm and fragile in my arms. I wish I could hold her like this forever. I wish that I could keep her safe in my arms forever. Our lips part slowly, hesitantly, as if we don't want to stop. Forever. She closes her eyes and leans against my chest before letting out a contented sigh. I run my fingers through her golden curls. I always forget he has a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. As she rests in my arms, her breathing grows slower and steadier. Susanna? No uh -oh. response. Uh-oh. I brush aside the of her hair <laughs> to get a better look at her face. Oh. oh god! <laughs> <laughs> you were hoping she died. No, no. In my head, though, in my head, I had an, a vision of like, oh no, now we gotta take her to the hospital, and it'll be like, I'm gonna save her. It's a good thing I was there professing my love. It was, it was romantic that she passed out because she almost passed out before. Remember? <laughs> you think it'd be romantic if she passed no. out? No. <laughs> I'm saying it would be romantic if he was there to save her. You know how messed up it's like, this is. Oh, no, no, because earlier in the game, either this yeah, game or the so the symmetry one. of her symmetry. having being Moe and are almost passing. Yeah, out. exactly. She's sleeping peacefully, a serene smile on her face. Sleep well, beautiful. The sun is set completely now. Carefully, I lift Susanna and carry her to the bed in the back room. I lay her down gently, kiss her on the forehead before whispering into her ear. I love you. When I arrive back at the farm, Opius rushes to the door to I greet me. If the you cake. give that cake to the cat, I will kill you. <laughs> Whoa, girl, what's up? You've never been this eager to see me before. Oh no! She paused me frantically before running oh. back and said, "Oh no, no!" I follow her, confused, until I enter the kitchen. Oh my god! Oh no! Uncle is lying god on the floor. Damn Still. It. No! I rush to him and shake him gently. Uncle. Uncle! I place two fingers on the side of his neck, praying for the best. I can still feel a faint pulse. I let out a sigh of relief, but I know it's not over yet. What should I do? I rush to the phone and dial Susanna's number. Hello? Trent, is Susanna there? Um, she's still, still asleep. What's wrong? Uncle's unconscious. I don't know what to do. We'll be there soon. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sorry, the face. <laughs> That's his shock look. Yes. I pace back and forth in the kitchen, unsure of what to do. Well, move him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just move him around a bunch. Uh, <laughs> poke him some. Orpheus paces with me, casting worried glances at Uncle. Finally, I kneel beside him. This would be your opportunity to turn into a real girl, Orpheus. <laughs> it's okay, Uncle. You'll be okay. Even as I tell him this, I'm not sure if it's even the truth. The front door bursts open and Susanna and Trent rush in. I was hoping for Jacob. <laughs> Oh no, Trent. Well, she's the certified rescuer. Oh, you're right. Yeah, gotcha. Trent r quickly ushers me out of the house. Sorry, Steve. It's better if you stay out of the way. He turns and rushes back inside, leaving me in the cold with no one but Orpheus as my companion. We wait together as the night grows dark. I don't remember much, but when I open my eyes, I find that I'm back in my bedroom. Ugh, what happened? As I grow more aware, the events of last night suddenly become clear in my mind. Uncle! He's fine. Trent! Um, why are you watching me sleep? <laughs> I'm in love with you too, Steve. 
Susie insisted I stay behind to take care of you. That was kind of her. Yes, it was. You'd better be grateful. <laughs> I am. Neither of you had to do this for me. I didn't do... I didn't do it for you, kid. It was for Sam. Well, I'm still grateful. Uncle means a lot to me, you know. The expression on Trent's face softens. Yeah, I know. He stares at the ground for a while before speaking. You treat my sister right, okay? Of course. She's like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> that was the look on his face. <laughs> she is a princess, so treat her like one. Kenny. Trent looks me in the eye, measuring my responses carefully. So I wonder if we hadn't gone... If we had just gone to, um... Oh, no, but we didn't go to the flower shop that day, did we? We had plans well, no, to we had plan stay home. No, we had planned to go to the oh, flower shop on Monday. we should have planned to go to the library. Yeah, I guess so. Trent looks at me and I'm measuring my responses carefully. I love her. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> His expression suddenly breaks into a smile. Then take good care of her, my friend. Because loving someone means you'll never hurt them. <laughs> he visibly relaxed now. He rolls his head back and stretches his arms. Ah, that's the ticket. Well, since I know you're doing okay, I'll be on my way now. <laughs> he heads to the door but stops and turns to face me. Oh yeah, and your uncle's in the hospital right now. We took him there last night. That was a heart attack he had. I see. Thanks. I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, see ya. I stare at the ceiling for a few minutes before I muster up the energy to get out of bed. I suppose I should call Pops. I stare at the phone for at least three minutes before I dare to even lift the receiver. Calling Jill is one thing, but with a heavy sigh, I begin dialing my home. The phone rings once. Please don't be home. Twice. Let me leave a message. Three times. No one's there. Four times. Just... Hello? <laughs> You haven't gotten to do this voice in for ages. <laughs> Who is this? Hi, it's Steve. Steven? Summer's almost over. Can't this wait until you get back? Mm, you handsome, cold devil. <laughs> Typical. After all these months, you're not even happy to hear from your own son. Maybe I'm not happy because my son is just as... Just as <laughs> disrespectful as ever. He's rage stroking. Would you just listen to me? Uncle's had another heart attack. What? He had a tar heart attack last night, okay? Oh, God. Sam, not again. Whoa, insta tears. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, your reaction to that was so funny. Is he okay? He's in the hospital now. Good. I'm on my way. Huh? I said I'm on my way. I'll be there in a few hours. I'm leaving our sweet, awesome loft. <clears throat> Pops hangs up before <clears throat> I can say anything else. I look down at Orpheus. She looks back at me expectantly. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. So, Pops is gonna be here. What now? At least I have a few hours to prepare. The few hours I have pass faster than I want them to. Even as my father's car rumbles into the driveway, I'm no better prepared than this than I was this morning. The car stops, slows to a stop at the, and mm, the car slows to a stop and the door on the driver's side swings open slowly. Steven. Hey. Is everything okay? I don't know. I haven't heard anything since you called me. I see. The two of us stand in awkward silence for a while until I finally take the initiative to speak. So, how was your summer? The usual. What about you? Um, it was fine. Before we can continue our stilted conversation, we are, we are honking. <laughs> Trent is pulling into the driveway. Susanna exits mm. from the passenger mm. side. Steve? Susanna, how is he? He's stabilized for now, but he'll need surgery. Surgery? Ah, uh, you must be Sam's brother. Brother son. <laughs> yes, my name is Michael. I apologize that we couldn't meet under better circumstances. It's fine. I'm happy to meet you. You have a fine son. Father raises an eyebrow, but he doesn't comment. 
We can talk about this. Mo talk about it more once Sam wakes up. The hospital will call. I guess that's all. I guess all we can do now is wait. I gaze up at the sky. Leaves drift lazily from the trees, carpeting the ground in red and orange. This place used to be so used to look so foreign to me, but over the last months, mm, over the months that I was here, it's grown <laughs> so familiar. Now that Uncle is in the hospital, it suddenly seems foreign again. Sigh. What a way to end my summer in Fairbrook. It's been two months since I guess Uncle we, had a coronary bypass. I guess we don't get our last two weeks. I guess not. The game tricked us. Yep. Surgery and recovery both went smoothly. After that, he wasn't allowed to do strenuous work on the farm anymore. Naturally, he protested, but Marion, Susanna, Clara, Trent, Jacob, and I all ganged up on him and made him promise not to do any more work on the farm. What did they do to him? <laughs> After a few more de death threats from Trent, oh, okay, I thought, said, I thought that was deaths. <laughs> After a few more deaths from Trent, um, I finally managed to get his blessing to date Susanna. Uncle didn't want to leave the farm, so he passed it on to me to take care of it. Susanna and I use it to grow even more crops for her to cook with. She started selling food from her flower shop along with everything else. Her cooking has gotten so popular that people from come from all over the state to try it. I still call Jill once in a while. She's been offered a part-time job at the Attorney General's office. Marion has been writing more and more lately, and she's working on publishing a book of poetry. Clara and her dad managed to patch things up, and she's currently enrolled in college in San Francisco. Mr. McFarlane agreed to let Jacob take over the farm, so Clara is free to do all as she wants with her life for now. Or, uh, life now. Yep. Is it ready, Steve? Yep. I lift the kettle off the stove and pour the, f the hot water into the French press. Today, Suzanne and I will be sharing some yerba mate tea. As I sit beside her in our usual spot on the windowsill, I take, a take in a deep breath, enjoying the fragrance of the flowers around us. Here in this peaceful place with the most beautiful girl in the world at my side, I know I belong. When you have only two pennies left in the world, buy a loaf of bread with one and a lily with the other. Kenny's like, no, you invest those. <laughs> <laughs> you put them in the bank. Put them in the bank. I don't know if there's going to be anything after the credits. I'm sure so there will be. Maybe. Can, can we click? No, no, I don't want to, just in uh, case. So some post-game commentary. Post-game commentary. This is going to be an extra long episode, I guess. It's going to be an extra specially long episode. Uh, Are you going to mark down finale? Finale, yes. <laughs> um, so... It actually worked out, though, that the, the thumbnail I chose was a Susanna Yeah, that's kind of funny. The thumbnail you picked at the very beginning. You think I planned that? The whole I time. I swear <laughs> to you, I did not. I swear to you. Okay. My favorite book. I wondered why I, I chose not. that thumbnail at the beginning, honestly. It was, <laughs> I wanted one of him macking on a lady. No, oh. there's no special ending. That's it. Let's go to gallery. I won't click and break stuff like I did before. <laughs> So, oh, look, you got one out of five pictures. Yeah. Wee. Wee. Ooh. Kiss scene, special, special ending. ending. I guess that's everything. So we did get the kiss scene and the special ending. Yep. Okay. Can't click the others. Well, they don't They don't exist well, yet. Well, you could at least like click them and see, like, oh, you don't know what this is yet. Oh, I don't know. So I bet, what, does, like, Jill come to visit and we... Are good Maybe. Different? So here's a question for the comments. <clears throat> Who are we doing next? Do you want to go for Marion next, Kenny? Since you got <laughs> cheated out of Marion this time, up or do the, you want to save Marion for comments. a little bit? Yes, we want to save Marion for a little bit because it's the we'll same see. sort of yeah. sort of track. Yeah. So next we can do we can do Jill, Clara, or Marion. Let us know in the comments who you want us to do. Um, so are we gonna like go through the entire game four more times, or are we just gonna? I'm like... gonna cut out anything that we've already done or okay. any of the planting stuff but we okay. have to do the planting stuff hmm? but we should i think we have to do the planting stuff to get the special ending with the the amount of money you get i think oh, you get okay. a special ending because of the amount of money you get okay. i know you do in winter i winter. don't know if it's not business this. but yeah okay so we'll just x one off we I got just, susanna i just want to save the do viewers you... having to go through all the uh all the busy work. Yeah, no, we'll just Do I'll just scenes. cut out anything that's not that they haven't seen. Unless you guys want to see the farming segments. Unless you want. Let us let <laughs> us know if you want to see the whole thing like again, and then we'll just skip anything that we've skipped in terms of dialogue. Because we got more games coming after. Because we have, I'm I'm literally I have plans to go through the entire Winter Wolves catalog. Oh, and mm. by the way, I I don't know if it's going to be up tomorrow. 
Um, hopefully very soon I'm... I gotta edit it, but, uh, Laura, otherwise known as XK, uh, XM Sugar, as you know, and Simon Parsons, we are starting an RPG-style dating sim. I was really upset that I'm not in this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kenny. It's okay. Um, uh, you yeah, keep no, your pigeons in another game. I want an RPG <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> an RPG-style one. Um, we did record, there was a thing with the audio, I don't know, it's, it's weird, but... You're, it's coming at you, and it's a crazy, crazy, intense, complicated game that actually is a lot like a Final Fantasy or something, <laughs> so it's kind of kind of interesting, um, because it's definitely more in-depth than this. But yeah, so thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> this is good, like, yeah, it's definitely a long episode. Thanks for joining us. Um, please remember to leave a comment. Let us know what we're doing next time. And also remember to leave a like and a favorite if you're feeling froggy. So... Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. And if you have any games in the Winter Wolf or any other dating sim company category that you'd like to see, let us know, because we're going to try and go through everything. Yep. Kenny just hijacked. So much power. He had more. So much assertiveness. There was more to say. So much assertiveness. <laughs> so much assertiveness. I guess that's what Susanna likes. Yeah, Susanna likes assertiveness. Yep. She's got a lady boner for assertiveness. <laughs> All right, so thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Oh, see, see, she's got the, the bouquet. No, they, they That's both. how it always is, yeah. but it's like, it's weird, because we gave the bouquet to Marion. That's unfair. We actually, we gave the bouquet to Marion. Okay. We're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.